Is it possible to do something innovative with the water leak sensor? It seems like yes, and Sonoff just did that. Meet the new Zigbee water leak sensor from Sonoff. SmartTube welcomes, consider subscribing, let's go! As I said in the intro, it is something that I didn't know that exists. I didn't know that even it is possible. So here I think the Sonov did something innovative and did something what others would not even think that it is possible. It doesn't look like a common water leak sensor. I think it's just completely something different. So the Zigbee water leak sensor has the model name of SN that be 05p and this version what i have here is not just with the with the sensor it has also an extension cable that we'll talk about later but first of all why do you need a water leak sensor so if you use water at your home then it may happen that you will have a leak a water leak so these kind of devices can save you from the big loss and notify you about the leak in any place of your home i already have lots of them around i have them under the dishwasher near the sink near the basin near the boiler washing machine and the dryer so you can already notice that i have a lot of them but i think this device can change it so when you get the notification that there is a leak you can have an alarm on your phone, but also if you use some more sophisticated automation, you can use an electric valve and close the, the water supply. So then the water will stop leaking. And I think this is the, the final automation that you, you, you should do with your water leak sensors. But let's, let's look at this device. So as I said before, this is a Zigbee water leak sensor. So for Zigbee devices you need the gateway and if you don't have already the gateway so I really I really encourage you to to buy the gateway because as I always say in my videos Zigbee devices is the one that you should have not the Wi-Fi and with the one gateway Zigbee gateway you can have plenty of them connected to it and talking to each other as always I think we should look at the box so from the top I think you won't know how the sensor can look like because these are, I think, two parts and you may even not, don't know which one of them is actually a, a sensor. That's the front. From the back, we have some warning that you need to be careful because there is a battery inside. On the side, here we have the model. On the other side, the same model. Here's some signs yeah, about the recycling and some owner. But on this side, we have some, I think, useful information. So first of all, we know what is the battery. So it is not an ordinary battery, 20, 32 or 21, I think, 45. So this one is much bigger. And then with this battery, the son of states that the device can last around five years and the battery is three volts. The wireless connectivity is Zigbee 3.0. So this is the, the new one or I don't know the new one, but not the 2.0. The 3.0 is, is the latest one. So that, that's good. But this is what we would expect from the new devices and what we have in the box. So here you can read that we have in the box the Zigbee water leak sensor plus quick guide and water leak detection cable two meters and cable clips so this water leak detection cable is something what i think is very innovative and that you would not find in any other water leak sensors okay so that i think that would be everything about the box so we already know what is inside so there is not just the water leak sensor but also the extension cable so let's dive into the box so it's gonna be first time when I'm seeing that. So I also a bit amazed how how they could invent that. But okay, so we have the manual. Here we have the extension cable. Here you can see what's there. You should have clips and this. And that's it. And yes, yeah, so here we have three clips with M3 tape on them. Oh, okay, and then extension cable looks like this. So we have C USB 
and then a kind of adapter with holes. So yeah, still we may not know how to use it. But okay, so this is it. And then I think the final product, the water leak sensor. Yeah. And this is it. So my first my first thought is that it is not that small like other. It is I think a bit bigger. I don't have here the I'm using I think Akara and some other cheap water leak sensors, but this one I think is is a bit bigger, a bit thicker, plus a bit heavier. So I think one thing is about the battery, and plus it does a bit more than those ordinary water leak sensors. So from the bottom, or actually, I think there is no bottom of this device. So I will just tell you that the device can you can put like this. So if the water will be dropping on it, because you may also have something like that, then you will immediately know that there is a water leak sensor. But also, you can put it with those two uh, probes this way, and then you will need to have some no, water on the ground to, to know that there is a leak. And it's very important to look at those probes, because they are not just silver, they are coated. I think they are gold coated. And it means that they will last much longer and there is no, you don't need to be afraid that they will get destroyed with the, with the water or even with some, you know, stinky water. They, they're gonna be fine. So that, that's very important. And if you ask me about the materials, so you can see it is, it is glossy and it feels like those materials are really premium. I think we can open the device to see what is inside. Here we have close and open. So I will just try to open it. Okay, it's opening. It's a bit hard, but it is going. So, okay, you need to wait a bit. Okay, so what we have inside. So inside, I assume this is a tape that will turn on the device because it is between the battery. Here is the reset button. So if you would like to pair it once again, then you need to restart, reset it by this button. I think you, you probably need to just push it for a few seconds. And here to open it, I think you would need to use some small screw driver. And then it will, you can get into the battery. But okay, so I will not yet take the tape. And I will just show you a bit more about this device. So I need to close it firmly. Oh, doesn't want to close now. I think because of that paper that I left there. Maybe no. Okay. So we have it closed and then I can show you how to use this device. So first of all, so you can, as I said, you can place it upside down or like this with the probes to the top. Or you can use this extension and place this on top of it and it just fits very nicely. It seems like there are some magnets that just link together and use the cable as a water leak sensor. So this is something completely new. So not the device as a water leak sensor, but the cable. So it means that you can take the cable, put it to, and you have two meters. So you can put it along washing machine, the dryer. And what it also means that I'm sure that this cable will know about the leak much earlier than just if you place the sensor in one one place. Because what can happen that if the water drops, it can flow first to the lowest point. And when there's gonna be much more water, then your sensor could catch the leak. But with the cable, the cable you can place in the long space and it will just catch the water very early. I will I will test it so then we can be sure how it works and whether it works and whether it's gonna be much better option with just device on the floor. So we are not forced to use the cable. You can just buy the water leak sensor. But I think after this material you will see that there is only one option just to use with this extension cable and the manual. As always I will show you the manual and I see that Every step is written in many languages, so I will just show you everything and you can stop the video if you are interested in the manual. And from the back, you can see the manual 
this is everything what I would like to tell you about the device before running it. So now we can move, take the tape and add the, the son of device to the to my gateway and what I will first try I will add it to my home assistant and I'm using the son of dongle as the as a gateway so based on the description it should work very well I almost missed that but there is one very important thing that I should I should say so on the side you can see that there is a USB C so what it means that what you can do you can place this on the sensor, on the water leak sensor, and this end you can connect to the next this device, so from this side, but to the new one, and create a very long sensor that would work together. So there is no limit of extending the whole setup. So you can connect to each other how many devices you want. And what it means is just all of the sensors will be notified that there is a leak but I think still you can keep them separate and everything will work as, as you want and before moving forward if you are interested in this device you can find the link in the video description you can also find there a discount coupon that you can use on the on the website to get some discount on this device I prepared everything to add the sensor to the home assistant so let's start with taking the tape so that the battery will have chance to work so the sensor will start and you can already see that there is a red light blinking so I would assume that the device is now in repairing mode and also from the other side here you can see that there is a black light there is a red light so I go to the home assistant open the Zigbee to MQTT and then allow to join all devices and as you can see after a second a new device has joined and let's see what it is at the bottom I can see that there is a new device the model is correct the company is correct so I can see that this is a C18 so now I will go to developers tools you can type C18 and what we already know that the battery is 100% water leak unknown and battery low so what will happen if I click reset it is unknown still after a couple minutes it's still unknown so what I prepared is a plate with some water and I will just place the sensor into the water and let's see whether it will work okay so immediately the water leak goes to on and then battery low to off okay I can see that the sensor is still a bit Oh, it's already off. Still a bit wet. Okay, so now it seems that it is fine. So it was really, uh, really fast. Okay, but then what will happen if I will drop some water on top? So this is a other use case that you could use. So if there's any drop of water from the pipes on it, and that's still not enough. Another drop, and then it's on. Yeah, so this is exactly what I meant. At the, at, the, at the beginning of the video that, that it is not only just one way of using it so you can use it upside down or with the probes to top okay so it seems like it's working very fast shows correctly the, the status so now I think we can go to the cable so I will show you how the cable works so what we need to do we need to place the cable so the one end of the cable with those holes on the probes yeah so this way and then I was thinking that at the beginning that the cable won't stick to the ground but actually if you place it like I will just show you so it will just you know hang on the floor it will not lay on it so you can see that you can form anything and then use the holders that you have you get with the product three holders here so we can maybe even take them out and put them on the cable so they look like this so i think you need to just push from top the cable until it will go down and yes and it is there so then you can stick it to the ground and then the cable is really laying on the ground so uh, with the with this cable what 
what will happen. So if we if it gets wet, then it's not like it will get dry immediately. So I think this is a kind of a material which will get wet and it needs to it needs some time to to dry. So the son of is saying that you can put it outside on the sun and then it will dry quickly and it will not damage the the cable. So now what I will do, I will take some you can see that it is off. So I'm just taking now some water and we'll wow. So you can see that the cable is getting wet. It's like getting the water from the table and it's not wet only on the place where, where I pour the water, but it's getting wet on the very long distance. It's getting even wet over here and the status is on. So it means that there is a leak. I'm not sure what I can do now to have it off, but let me get maybe more paper and see whether that will change the status to off. No, so you know, I, I don't know how I can dry it more with, with just the uh, paper, kitchen paper, but this is what I could do. So it is on and maybe what will happen if I will take the top. Okay, it went off, but what if I will Again, put it back. It goes on. Okay, so yeah, so it's still wet. So as you can see, I've never seen some such device like this. So a water leak sensor with a cable that is as an extension of the of the sensor, and I'm really amazed how innovative such idea is. Yeah, and as I said before, I'm not sure why it's needed, but you can connect all those sensors if you have more. In, in one in one line but what's what's the idea behind that I think I I don't know like one turns all of the sensors but what's the idea behind that I'm not sure but if you know why what what's the, the advantage of connecting more than one device please let me know in the in the comment and now let me clean the table a bit and we can do the summary. This Zigbee water leak sensor is something something new. I may be wrong, but I've never heard anything about from the competitors. So I think the Sonos is just now a step in in front of the competitors with this device. I'm sure now the other companies will try to copy it, but Sonos just got it. And I think now this is gonna be the best water leak sensor in the market that will last long with the big battery that is very reliable that can cover a huge area with one sensor another advantage of this device are the probes so the probes are as i said at the beginning uh, gold coated i think gold coated so they they won't corrode and they will ve last very long even if, if they will just be under some uh, filthy filthy water filthy water and it's not expensive because the sensor itself costs around $10, $10. And with the extension cable, it's around $16 on the official website. So the link to the official website you can find in the video description along with the uh, coupon for, uh, for a discount. So after the video, I think you should know now, you should know now everything about it, how you can use it where you can use it and you can find out that adding it to the home assistant is very easy it was like in a second read by the son of dongle and i use it in the home assistant but it will also work with the e-wheeling app if you have if you don't have home assistant so you just need to have a gateway from the son of and then you can easily connect this device to the gateway and also use it as I did. With the device, what I want to do is for sure create some automations and this is what you also can do. And as I said, I think at the beginning of the video, at the end, what I will do is that if there is any leak, then the main water supply pipe will be closed with, with the electric valve. So this is what I aim for. I already bought the, the electric valve. It's not yet on my on my valve but uh, i will make a video about it very very soon i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please write them in the comments consider subscribing thank you for watching bye